Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing kind of like a week or a few days in my life here in Vermont. It's finally starting to warm up and feel like spring. I'm in the sun, it feels amazing. And as you saw, I just got groceries. Today is Monday, so I did my Instacart order, just unpacked all my groceries. As you can see, a lot of it was gluten-free because I've been going through a struggle with my eczema. I have eczema or like contact dermatitis and it flares up sometimes but recently it's been very bad and I just feel like I have like almost like a rash and I read that it can be from other allergies and I've never had a gluten allergy but I'm cutting it out of my diet this week to see if it helps but some other exciting news this week I'm cutting my hair I have not cut my hair since the pandemic began and if you guys know I was the CEO of short hair I had short hair and now my hair is long so i ordered scissors online hair cutting scissors they came in so we're going to cut my hair tomorrow like i'm really excited to do that so you guys are going to come with me for that and just the rest of my week today we are going on a mission after work to pick up a chair from facebook marketplace you can see all of my living room furniture or living room or Hello? Dining room chairs are from Facebook Marketplace. I have to do that because this weekend I'm filming my living room makeover video. So we are prepping for that. Make sure you guys subscribe so you can see that video. It's going to be insane. And yeah, that's kind of my week in a long overview. And let's just get after it. store I don't know I went looking for like a tree practically like a big thing for the corner and I was kind of overwhelmed because there was a lot but like there weren't a ton of trees and like there was no way I was picking one of those up and then I also realized how am I gonna put it in my car a lot of things happened so I ended up going for a monstera plant and I'm gonna put it in the corner for now but if I find a tree that works better in here because this we have huge ceilings I'll put this in my room, but I'm very excited I got this. Spent way too much on it. Like, this should be $10. I know, it's $35. <laughs> but it's a plant stand. So we have our plant stand. They wrap the plant all super nice so that it doesn't get hurt in the cold. They care about their plants. And then I also got this pot, which I'm really, really loving. It's like the same material as a terracotta pot, but I think it's a little bit different. It's this creamy color. And I'm, for now, I'm just gonna stick it right in the pot. Eventually, I can repot it if I want to, but it fits really nicely in there. So cute, I'm obsessed. And then I can put it right on this plant stand to kind of make it taller and it can live on the ground. And I love it. Let's hope I can keep her alive. She was $50. So, we are going to put her right next to my paint. Perfect. <laughs> so cute, little sneak peek of the apartment. Just kidding, oh my god. <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe so you can see the apartment makeover video since I'm just giving you little sneaky peeks. Okay, so now we are going to head out and go, it's about a 30 minute drive to go pick up this chair from Facebook Marketplace and I will finally have a complete dining set. I have had one, two, three, four, five chairs at my dining room table and six fit. So we are finally completing this set. The idea is to have like all mixed match chairs, mixed match colors. You will see that in the home makeover video. I'm not gonna give too much away, but you're finally getting on the lawn, and you're handing down cards. Okay, 
guys, so I just got the chair, but on my drive home, I had to pull over. I am a sucker for a good sunset. And I am by the lake, and it is absolutely stunning. So, let's go get some really good pics of the sunset, and then head home. because it said that my camera ran out of storage. So, we have our tacos. I'm not usually a hard shell gal, but I got them because they're gluten-free, and like I said, I'm gluten-free this week, and also these gluten-free shells, breaking. I couldn't even wrap my burrito, so that's great. But let's give it a taste. I like a hard shell. I literally don't know how I'm gonna eat this. Good. She's good. Don't free. Who would have thought? Me talking to my camera. You wanna come say hi to the vlog? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm giving a food review. Ooh, stunning. Mm hmm Cheerios and coffee. I spilled my milk. Don't cry over spilled milk. I have my hair in cute little buns today. I, I'm gonna miss being able to do this. This is probably the only hairstyle I like with long hair. So today I am working and then cutting my hair. Maybe I'm gonna take my skateboard out. Possibilities are endless. Blue skies. It gets gonna be 60 degrees. So. We have to get outside at least once today. Okay, so I was just, I went to Home Goods, I went to Lowe's, no rugs to be found, but I also was gonna get lumber to build a media table. And then my mom sent me this link on Facebook Marketplace to this door. Whoa. And I'm on my way to go get it. It's like this old door, it's so amazing, it's so cool. And I'm gonna use it as the top for my media table, or like my entertainment system. Bump. So I'm going to pick it up right now. I just got cash. I'm like 10 minutes away. So we're just gonna go get it. This is so fun. You guys can get a little sneak peek of the door. That's exciting. And make sure you subscribe so you can see me actually make this all come together into a table. Turning a door into a table. Click me. Okay. Let's go. Also, it's beautiful out. Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> all right, so I'm cutting my hair. I have my scissors, <laughs> my comb. I have Katie for moral support, and we're gonna chop my hair off. So I'm gonna section all my pieces off, and then we will get to cutting. Up. I'm gonna finish this one then do it again. This is sharp. Ah! Take two. I am free. I, I messed I up. I literally crazy. messed up. I just don't say but I'm free at the right time, but whatever. Okay, I did it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Done. Taking them out. Oh my god. <laughs>
my god, it feels so weird. <gasps> Stop. Cutie, cute, cute. She's got short hair again. This is still longer than like it was. Now I wonder if it's like, oh, the back is shorter than the front. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's honestly better because it would have been harder to go back and do more in the back. Yeah. Oh yeah. So how the heck am I supposed to fix this now? Okay, so now I'm going to go through and like make the back the same length as the front because obviously they are a little bit off. The front's a little longer, so I think that will be easier. Do some finishing touches, but I think I'm gonna do that in the bathroom because it's gonna be a little bit messier. Here's my hair. What the heck? Thumbnail. Wait, I should do a thumbnail. Oh my god, it's so cute. I'm sorry if you can hear my fan, but I have my hair cut. I'm obsessed. It's definitely not perfect, and I kind of want to go shorter, but this is good for now. Now we are going to dye it. I just ran to the store and got gloves because I realized I didn't have any. So let's dye it dark. No, it's like definitely not perfect at all. So I talked about this in my other hair video that I did, but I use the DP Hue Gloss in black. It doesn't make my hair completely black, but it does make it way darker, like the darkness that I want. So let's do it. so my hair is all done it's now wet so i will give an update tomorrow morning on how it looks i fixed it up a little bit it's obviously not perfect but very excited to see how it looks dry if your crib is loose enough how lucky to be by your side to feel your stare it's snowing can we just talk about the fact that it was 60 degrees and sunny like two days ago and now it is snowing and it's April 1st. But on another note, on a good note, here's my hair. I actually love it so much. I love the dark color. I'm so happy to have my dark hair back and my short hair back. I'm going to be doing a short hairstyles video on TikTok because that is where I came from and it just seems fitting. So today we are prepping for the weekend and this weekend I'm doing the living room makeover. So I'm gonna run to Goodwill to look for some big frames for our wall. I also just wanna look at Goodwill for any baskets or books. I always like to look there because books are so great for decorating. Same with baskets. Baskets are great to put plants in. And then I also want to run to Lowe's to get some lumber for our bookshelf I'm creating out of a palette. It's going to be something, but um, that will be for that video. But we will get all the stuff for that. I'll be staining it. I hate going to Lowe's. Imagine I start a hardware store. Women owned, women run for women, or I guess men could be allowed to go, but it would be run by employees, women. You would just feel so much more welcoming. So that's gonna be on my list of things to do someday. So very excited for today, lots to accomplish, and I have my new hair. You guys might be asking, Lauren, why do you have a winter coat on? It's it's spring, it's, it's April. Um, uh, yeah, this is why, it's, it's snowing still going outside and we are going to Lowe's and Goodwill. A little haul. I'm gonna give you a haul out here because I'm gonna leave the wood in here for now because I can't carry it all up. But at Goodwill I got a bunch of books like weird from the outside but once you take these off it's gonna be like you know a cool book on a shelf. Um, a lot of them are really cool so we got a little Frank Sinatra. I got this really cool basket. I think I showed this in the store and I can use that on my dresser with perfumes or wherever we want it. Also, I got this cool little wood thing. I could put jewelry in there, I was thinking. And then at Lowe's, I got all the wood for my palette um, bookshelf, or yeah, bookshelf -y thing. And then this is going to be used in the DIYs and then also just some screws. So here's the haul. I'm gonna carry the books up. 
leave this behind. So I am back. I planned on making harvest bowls for dinner, but yet again, it takes forever because the wild rice takes a long time, the sweet potatoes take a long time, so I improvised. So we are having gluten-free chicken tenders with broccoli and Caesar salad. Little tip, put your Caesar salad in a Tupperware so that you can cap it, shake it, and then the dressing gets all over. It's not pretty, but it's it's the way to do it. And then water with lime juice. All right, so tomorrow is Friday, AKA the start of my living room home reno. So I'm going to end the vlog off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this week of errands and cutting my hair. I had a lot of fun filming it. If you want to see more videos like this, please comment that down below. I want to know what you guys want to see from me. I'm so excited for this apartment makeover series. My living room, my bedroom. I just watched like five videos of Woodness Goodness and he's building a tiny house. They're old videos so I'm like going back and re-watching. But they're so good. So if you've never checked those out, definitely watch. It's really interesting. And I'm learning how to build a tiny house. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.